Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Um, please ignore the face wash, face wash, the face wash on my shirt. Um, I will explain it later. But today, the main focus is the ColourPop Lust for Dusk palette. And um, I'm also gonna be showing a couple other products that I bought from Ulta, along with some of my other favorites that came in like BoxyCharm or just other things that I bought. Um, but I had a few new products that I want to show you. Um, obviously this palette is like gorgeous. So I can't wait to get into it and um, show you guys how I created this look. Um, and then I've also got some new bronzers to try from Juvia's Place. So that's going to be fun. Um, I just think this is going to be like a nice video that hopefully goes well and I don't struggle with. But um, anyways, if you like this look or you want to see how I achieve this look, just keep on watching. And if at any point you feel the compulsion to hit like or subscribe, I would very much appreciate it. It really means a lot to me because, I mean, with a channel this small, you want to grow your network and you want to grow your, um, you know, your viewership, your channels, your your channels, your your views, your your watchers, viewers. Why didn't I come up with that word? But um, it just means a lot, especially for a small channels. So I try to follow a lot of small channels and you know give them likes and subscribe to them because I I know how it is and I want to help other people work up towards the bigger numbers and I would hope that that's what someone would do for me. So anyways, we're just going to get right into the look. Here we go. Alright, so my... <coughs> Jesus. Alright, so my eyebrows are already on. Um, what I'm going to use for primer is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer. And I'm just going to put this on both eyes and blend it out. And then I'm going to top it with some translucent powder. So just doing that real quick. <clears throat> All right, so I'm having tripod issues, so if it leans a little bit like the camera like starts to lean a little bit and that's why um i also have face wash on my shirt um this is actually an amazing face wash though it's the glam glow super cleanse um it just makes your skin feel super soft and um i mean like cleanse not soft necessarily but it's like it feels like you it like draws out all the impurities it's kind of like this charcoal color, so yeah, um, I got that in a boxy charm and I'm like obsessed with it now because like I feel like that's something I never would have bought um, unless it had been sent to me and um, that's exactly what happened. So for moisturizer, I'm just using the IT Cosmetics Confidence in a Cream and um, yeah, like that's never something I would lean towards is like $30 face washes, but I mean, since I got it for 25 bucks for the whole box, I mean, it's not a terrible deal. And I definitely think that I'm gonna end up repurchasing it, even though it is kind of expensive, um, just because I really like the way it cleans. I have some tons of some powder under my eye, <clears throat> but I really like the way that it cleans my skin. So now that my moisturizer's on, I'm going to dip into one of my new products that I got. And then this one is saying over here. Um, so this is the ColourPop Lust for Dusk palette. So I had placed this huge order with Ulta that was like maybe almost 70 bucks. And then whenever it was delivered, they put it in one of like the little boxes that they have on the mailbox for packages because they can't just take it to your door apparently. I 
cannot get this palette off. But anyways, it gets here and freaking, it was the most irritating thing. We couldn't open the mailbox. The key was like jamming. So we had to wait until the next day and tell the mailman like, hey, this is my address and I can't get my mail because it has, the key is messed up. So yeah, that was irritating that I had to wait an extra day for this, but it really wasn't the biggest deal. I kind of bought kind of like a mini haul from Ulta. Um, and then I also have some BoxyCharm products I think that I need to use. Um, but this is the Lust for Dusk palette. I'm gonna take out the little plastic sheet and this is what it is. I love it because it's a lot of like cool tone, like like purpley colors and like mauve colors and that's just kind of my favorite. Um, <clears throat> my favorite kind of shadows to work with are cool tone shadows and I know that they can be harder to work with because it just kind of is harder to make a more blended look with cool tone shadows um, because neutral shadows are so easy to just like kind of slap on and it looks good but um anyways we are going to try this new shadow palette and i am going to take this bh cosmetics blending brush um it came in their seven piece essential set so um that's all I can offer you on this brush but they kind of made a mess too while it was like in the mail like because some of these shimmer shades are like kind of all over the place I don't know if you could see it like up here but I think the first thing I'm gonna go in with is this shade right here called wild sky <clears throat> And I'm just kind of using this to add some depth. Um, it's a little bit darker than my skin tone, which is nice because I was hoping it would be so that it would actually like add some color to my eyelids. It's not adding too much color. It's just enough to like where my my eyelids look defined now i guess it could now, because this is a color pop palette i feel like i'm already gonna love it like that's a given but um i was really excited to get this it's pretty much like one of their newer palettes i don't know if it's like their newest release or anything but it was a new palette but i saw on ulta's website and i really really wanted it so I bought it because I had the money to do so at the time, and I figured why not. So next, I actually wanted to use that brush again. Um, I kind of want to go into this shade right here. It's called Eventide. 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 I don't know what that's supposed to be. Eventide. I've never even heard of that. Alright, so I'm just putting this down in the crease a little bit lower than that first shade. You can't really see it very much. Maybe that's the point. Oh, you can a little bit. You know, in comparison with the other eye, I am actually am able to see it. Nice. not terrible. I'm definitely going to go in with another another layer. Um, another thing to note is that there is not a lot of kickback in the pan, um, but a little bit of kickback. So like, I know a lot of people kind of judge an eyeshadow's quality based on its kickback. And I don't really think you can do that with ColourPop shadows because they are really, really good quality and they do kick back a little bit in the pan. I mean, I think most eyeshadows do, so I don't know why anyone would be surprised or bothered by that. Like, literally, it just happens. Why is there, like, these weird... There's, like, these weird, like, two stripes. I don't know if you could see it. Like, my blending brush doesn't want to blend over it. Ugh. 
How weird. Okay, so I'm gonna take more of this shade and really start to deepen up the crease. I think that one of the mistakes that they made is not putting a, a oh my god, can I talk? A mirror in this palette. Um, literally, like, there's room for one. I mean, I would have paid a couple extra bucks for there to be a mirror in the palette. But, I mean, it's not the biggest deal. So, I'm going to take this next shade that's kind of similar, and it's called Hot Glam. It's on the second row for shade. And I'm going to take that in the crease as well, kind of focus it on the outer corner and then bring it in. All right, so I've kind of blended that to the best of my ability. It looks just kind of like a deep brown, but in person it actually comes off as like the mauve color that it looks like in the pan. So I'm a little like, right now I'm thinking about like what to use next because it seems like there's a few different directions I could go. I use this one and this one. So like, I've been thinking about using this one or if I want to go like darker, I guess I could take this and then like maybe this on the outer corner and then like one of the shimmers. But I don't know. Hmm. I am, you know what, how does this, I feel like it actually looks kind of warmer toned on my eyes, even though this is a cool toned palette and even when I look in the mirror, it looks a little bit warm. But you can tell that I use, like, the last shade I used especially was really cool toned. Um, so I'm just going to go into the shade Mixer, which is right next to Eventide or Even, Eventide. Um, and I'm just going to apply this to the outer corner. And then I'm going to take that up and increase a little bit too. This is a messy shade. See, this shade has a lot of kick up. That's, that's all I'm going to say. Um, but yeah. So you can see that by adding that purple shade, it kind of changes like the whole direction of the look. Um, and it's crazy how like one eyeshadow can do that. Um, I don't know if you can tell quite so much on camera, but in my mirror, it's like totally purple or dark purple, I should say. It's like a plum, I guess, plum mauve kind of look. I'm kind of taking that in my inner corner as well because I kind of want to just create like well I want to have my crease shades go all the way in um, just because I feel like that looks better but I'm also kind of blending around the edges so that it doesn't look so harsh um, but this section with these I don't know if you can see them on camera there's like these two little lines. I think it was concealer that I just didn't blend out very well. Um, and I probably forgot to set it with uh, 
translucent pattern like on that area so it ended up looking that way but now I'm just trying to get everything blended perfectly and it seems like the other side is blended a little bit higher so I'm bringing this one up a little bit higher um, and I also ooh, I also kind of want to take this shade like out a little bit So I just kind of like pat it on the outside and then I'm going to bring it in the crease and blend. So now for the lid shade, I'm kind of torn between Shaken and Miser or even like Night Lovers looks like it would it would work but then like when i actually look at it in the palette in conjunction with my eye look it just doesn't look like it would look very well um so i think i'm gonna try some shaken which is this one um on a wet brush first and then i'll probably just end up going in with my fingers to fix it and add extra oomph to my shadows so let's see It's really wet. Okay, I'm not. Okay. 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 So I'm dipping into Shaken, which it doesn't seem like it's picking up a lot on a brush. Oh, okay. Okay, that actually looks really pretty. Wow, that was like the best possible shade I could have chosen. I mean, I don't know if you can see, but it's very like shiny, obviously, but it gives off like, it, it just matches this look so well. Wow, okay. So I'm gonna take this up a little bit higher. And then I'm gonna blend out the edge with the blending brush I used for our last shade, which was Mixer. That was the deep purpley shade. And now I'm gonna go and do the same thing to the other eye. Wow. These are super pigmented. I can't believe that I didn't have to go in with my finger to actually like make it look this good. Cause normally like I would. I'm just trying to cover anywhere that we see bare skin showing. And I'm kind of trying to put a lot in the middle so that it looks, I don't know, more metallic in the middle. <clears throat> and then again, I'm going to blend that outer edge. Damn. Okay. So, whoa, I touched one of the shades. Okay, so that is what we're looking at as far as the eyes. Um, I want to blend out the corners a little bit more. And then blend out the corners even more in the crease. And you'll see I took my crease up really, really high. Um, that's just because I have hooded eyes, so it makes any 
eyeshadow look like it's not performing well on my eyes or you can't see it so that's all I was doing there so I'm just patting on more of that color with my brush nice all right so lust for dusk this is actually a really pretty palette and I can see like a lot of different use like looks you can create with it like you can create like something reddish something more on the silver side um obviously you can create like a purpley mauve kind of eye, eye look um there's even a blue in here and a dark brown that's kind of um it's a matte dark brown but it has shimmer in it but i'm sure it's like most mattes with shimmers where the shimmer doesn't really come off on the application so I'm just going to do my liner and lashes real quick and then I will move on to the face. So right, yes, my liner and lashes are done. Um, the kind of lashes I'm wearing I got from Amazon. Um, they're just like these, I've used all three of them so they don't look like perfect but they're kind of like similar to the House of Lashes Iconic Lashes in the way that they are thin at the front and then they flare out at the ends so yeah i don't really know how you would look this up but it just says vgte 3d false eyelashes cruelty free fake eyelashes so that's just what i used and the directions on the back kind of don't make any sense because they were probably translated from mandarin so but you know they just go on like your basic lash and the lash band is very flexible which I is very important to me because that way I'm like sticking it to my eye and it's not like halfway like up here like the other end it's just like irritating when you have to deal with lashes like that and so sometimes that makes me shy away from like really big dramatic lashes because I just don't want to deal with like all the mess and the glue and everything so I'm going to take the um, fallout from under my eyes <clears throat> and That's good. So now I'm gonna start on my face. I've already moisturized in the beginning of the video. So let's get to it. Um, I guess I can move these. Or maybe not. Um, okay, so do I have any face products? Oh, I do. So I've got this Wet n Wild BFF Hydrating and Brightening Primer Mist. And it comes like this, it just looks like water. But then when you shake it up, it's got like this really pretty like pearlescent like movement to it. I just think it's really pretty. Um, the mister is very fine. Why doesn't it want to work now? Why, literally, why does it not want to work now? Oh, cool, it just broke. Please, what the fuck? Okay, hang on. I'm gonna see if this mister from this makeup, this old setting spray will work. Yeah, Mr. on that is not as fine. So, damn. Um, I'm gonna have to see what I can do about this Mr. I don't understand why, it, like, literally, like, it, it's the Mr. on this that it actually comes with is, like, a very fine 
like light mist and it's like literally not working at all anymore and I this is like my second time using it I've only ever used it just on top of bare skin um, never on top of like my actual skin I hadn't actually tried it out yet um, but that is kind of disappointing I'm gonna have to figure out if I can maybe return it for a functional one but now my face looks like it's bathing in like glitter because that other that other mister it's super super spray -y. I think I got glitter in my eyebrows like I, I don't know okay oh just my cats I thought that there was like a thunderstorm so you know what honestly like I feel moisturized enough I feel like my skin is fine so I'm gonna skip primer today because I mean that was a primer spray um I'm so disappointed about that mister I wonder if there's got to be a way to like swap one out for like a mister I have that isn't so in your face yeah I do have a okay yeah so that moves us straight on to foundation I'm literally just sitting here still trying to fix this mister because it's fucking irritating I'm literally my hands are covered in sparkles right now trying to fix this shit because I don't even want to do my foundation and concealer until I fixed it because I'm super OCD and it's just gonna like I'm just gonna be thinking about this broken mister and it's driving me insane so I sent my boyfriend out to try and see if he can find another mister on a product that maybe won't spray my face off um but yeah I'm super disappointed dude like wet and wild kind of did me dirty like what the fuck I'm so disappointed I had to put all of this product into an old uh setting spray bottle but it has a nice fine mist to it so I'm not tripping off it too hard I actually thought about returning this after I had already poured all the liquid out but um maybe I'll just buy another one one day if I run out of this one and I like it enough but um yeah so far not a great first impression I finally gave up but all the product is in a usable bottle so that's what matters and my hands look like this so moving on, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Born This Way foundation. Um, I think I normally use like three pumps of this. So I'm just going to put that on the back of my hand. And I'm using a Real Technique sponge. This is like, I don't know what, why it's pink, but yeah. I'm just going to start applying this to the face. God, this foundation is like, it's gorgeous. Alright, so for concealer, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Mega Last Incognito Concealer, even though they totally just did me dirty with that freaking mister. Um, yeah, the, I was actually like really excited to like try that. Um, I mean, I did try it, but now it's going to be in a different bottle, which is sad because I can't see the swirliness of the glitter anymore. But, I mean, whatever. Life goes on. I'm just highlighting the places I would normally highlight. No. 
how it blends. David, stop. David. Alright, so I'm going to set this concealer as soon as possible so that it doesn't crease. I don't know how people go on these like videos and they'll literally like be talking, like they'll do their concealer, they'll blend it in, and then they'll talk for like 10 minutes before they set their concealer. Or they don't set their concealer at all. Which, you know what, I wish I could be that person, but no. Like literally, like I will crease so bad and it will just look horrific. So we're trying to avoid that today after that horrific, horrific spray bottle incident, which it will now be known as. Um, oh, I forgot to set my whole face. That's part of this. So I've got way too much in this thing. So I'm going to use, of course, my Wand Ball Powder Heavenly Luxe. It cosmetics brush. Okay. So now my whole face is set and ready for the other products that I'm going to use. So I have another new product from my Ulta mini haul that got lost and I couldn't get it out of the mailbox for two days. Um, so this is from Julia's Place. It's the bronzed, bronze. It literally says bronzed, bronze. Why is my... I hope this doesn't fuck up my makeup. I get like itchy like under my nose and then like I get worried that it's gonna fuck up my makeup. But anyways, bronze, bronze. I bought it in the shade light, um, which at first I thought might be too light for me, um, like when I was ordering it. But, oh my God, I'm itchy. But um, upon looking at the shades, they're actually like kind of perfect. So, crusty ass foundation lips. Like, why? Okay, so I think I'm gonna start off with the light shade because it's kind of cool toned and that's what I usually gear towards. And then if I need to go darker, then I'll go in with the darker shade. But I don't think I'm gonna need to. I think the light is more than enough like the top shade I don't know I'm just more into cool tone bronzers and the um I don't know why I'm making that face the whole time but this bottom one kind of comes off like warm and so it looks more like a bronzer and less of a contour and I'm more into like contour type of shades so yeah So I'm just blending this across my forehead. If 
find a little bit more than the cheeks. Alright, put a little bit under. That should be good. Um, I like these bronzers, these are nice. It's, and you know what's weird? Like, this tiny, I mean, it's not tiny, but like this palette with two bronzers in it came with a mirror, and the ColourPop palette had no mirror. So, kind of hate that, but it is what it is. So, the next thing I want to bring out. If I can find it, please God. Here it is. <clears throat> is this Essence Wonderful Pink and Proud Baked Blush Lighter. So I'm assuming this is just a blush with shimmer in it. Um, but it looks like this. And it's just in your typical plastic packaging. Which um, hopefully is recyclable. It says vegan... Um, just says the baked blush blush lighter combines blush and highlighter in a velvety soft texture with subtle subtle gold shimmer particles um so i'm gonna take this morphe blush brush whatever that and i'm just gonna like tap into it a couple times let's see what kind of pigment we're working with That's pretty. It's very like light if you want it to be. So it's pretty nice. Um, before I do highlighter and get into that, um, under eyes that's what i was thinking and not coming up with so under eyes what would be a good brush to use for my under eyes let's find out all right so i've got a beige cosmetics number no. seven brush it's like the smallest blending brush in their little marble set um i decided i'm gonna go into the shades um even even time and hot glam and i'm just gonna mix those together and put them up right under my under eye I'm gonna do another layer of that. So that looks pretty decent. Um, now I'm going to switch over to mascara for both sides. Um, I totally just saw which one I wanted to use. Okay, so I want to use the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara on my top lashes. And then for bottom lashes, I'm going to use the um, Benefit Bad Gal Bang. So this is actually perfect for mascara. Wow. And the corner of this lash is not sticking, which is just fucking awesome. Alright, so now it's time for bottom lashes.
All right, so I kind of got like some extra right here and right here, but like that always happens. And I mean, nobody, whatever. So last but not least, highlighter. I'm trying to figure out what highlighter I want to use. Um, I think I'm going to go with this Touch and Soul Glodiant palette. Um, I got this in my BoxyCharm too, and I'm obsessed with it. Much like I am the uh, face wash, and I don't know, pretty much everything I get from them is on point. So I'm going to take the first two shades and kind of mix them together. And then that's what I'm going to use. Oh. Like hell yeah. Like this is the kind of highlight that I want all the time. It's just beautiful. So now I'm gonna do a little down my nose. and right there so cute overall oh I need to do an inner corner highlight and I know I have the perfect brush for it somewhere it's just okay okay here we go so mix the two shades a little bit and apply that is my inner corner highlight. That's not quite coming off with the pigment that I want, so I'm going to use my finger to apply it on both sides. And then I'm going to use that brush to help blend out the edges. And so far, it looks pretty good. Glodiant Makeup Palette. That's what it's called. And just says Touch and Soul Pretty Glo Pretty Filter Glodiant Makeup Palette. Um, so I really like this. I talked about it in my last video. I was like obsessed with it and literally like I'm obsessed with this. So I can't complain. I'm really happy with most of what I tried today besides the fact that I broke a bottle that I thought was very cute I was like showing you guys like the little swirlies with the glitter and the mixture and it just like totally like like broke on me and I was kind of wondering why the spray was kind of hard to use and the mister was very fine but I didn't quite mind that um I, I don't know whatever so my final thoughts on everything I've used today that was new. Well, my uh, SpongeBob BFF Hydrating and Brightening Primer Mist uh, was a little bit of a fail because we had to put it in another bottle and it was just... I'm so sad that I can't see in that clear bottle. Um, next thing I want to talk about is the Juvia's Place Bronzers. Um, I really, really, really love this. I love that there's a mirror, and, um, I think it did a nice job on my face without being, like, too overwhelming, because I feel like sometimes I go a little overboard with bronzer, and then it just looks really weird and, like, dark on my face, and it doesn't look right, but I actually think that these came out really nicely, um, and you know, if you ever feel like your makeup is a little too much on your face, just take your face powder brush and just blend it. And it just kind of comes together 
on its own, um, but I really like these. I've been wanting to try something from Juvia's Place for quite a while, so I'm very excited about those um, because my butter bronzer is almost out. Next thing that we tried, well, I'm not going in any particular order here, so this isn't really the next thing, but the ColourPop Lust for Dusk palette. It's beautiful, it's got a lot of cool tones, it's got a lot of looks that you can create with it. Um, I like the versatility of it. Um, I just wish it had a mirror because I feel like that would have made it so much easier to kind of apply and still be back far enough to where you can see what I'm doing. Um, yeah, but I definitely recommend that. The pigmentation is amazing. The look I came out with is gorgeous and I just really really like the palette there is one last thing that i want to try that i have not so this is also part of my little ulta mini haul that i did and this is the makeup revolution soap x candy icing lip liner and lip balm and my lips are so dry like they need a lip balm desperately Ew. So anyways, I'm going to open her up. Okay. So it comes in a way that's very hard to open. Okay. Hey, stop it. No complaining. And so it's got this lip liner that's in a very nude shade and then it also comes with a lip balm and I'm a huge fan of Soph or Soph Does Life now I guess it, she used to be Soph Does Nails but I'm a, uh, she's Soph Does Life now and literally like I love her so much I think she's freaking awesome and I could literally have been watched her videos until like 5 in the morning before with no shame so I'm gonna try this lip balm. Alright, so I just filled in my lips with the whole lip pencil. I apologize if you had to stare at my forehead the whole time. I just needed to use this mirror in front of me because I could not see. So that's actually a really nice lip pencil. And so for the lip balm, it looks like, well, it looks like this. And then you take the cap off and it looks like this. So I'm just going to twist it up. You just twist up the product like that. And I add on top. And I kind of made a mess already on the packaging, or not packaging, but on the component. So I can't tell like how pigmented this gloss is because I actually like did the whole filling in of my lips with the lip liner. But I can tell you that it is comfortable and I love it and I love that um, it was a collaboration with Sophie. Um, I'm assuming her name is Sophie. I don't I know anyone named Soph, but I'm really um, happy with their Soph collection. 
actually have the eyeshadow palette, which maybe I'll do like a look on one day. Um, but yeah, this is the finished look. The lips don't look that great because I don't wear lip products a whole lot. Um, just because I don't like having to reapply them and all that mess. So yeah, um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I tried that was brand new today. Not my eyeshadow, not my liner, not my blushes. No, nothing else. So those are all the new products I tried today. I'm going to try to get this piece of glitter out of my eyebrow without ruining it. And um, yes, this is the final look. And um, I'm very pleased with it. If you are as well and you would like to see how I do this to my face, um, please like and subscribe and don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can watch my videos as soon as they come out. Um, I really enjoyed making this for you, so, I mean, why, why not? It doesn't hurt anybody. Just, just hit, hit subscribe. Just do it. So, um, anyways, I'm going to leave you all with a goodbye um for now and i will see you in my next video bye